Hello everyone. I'm Jeff Wainwright, author of the Insurance Power Play, and welcome to this special investigation. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on a practice that's been costing companies thousands, if not millions, in inflated insurance premiums. We're talking about the unethical practice of reserving in the corporate insurance world. You might be asking, what's the big deal about reserving? Well, if you're a CFO, this is a trap you can't afford to ignore. It's a hidden issue, and today we're blowing the lid off it. So if you're in charge of your company's financial health, and you want to make sure you're not being taken for a ride, this is one investigation you can't afford to miss. We'll delve into what reserving really is, why it's a massive problem, and most importantly, how you can safeguard your company from becoming its next victim. Let's dive in. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. What exactly is reserving? In simple terms, it's a tactic used by insurance brokers to block competition and keep you from getting the best deal. Here's how it works. Your existing broker, in collaboration with insurers, can reserve your business, effectively preventing other brokers from offering you a better price. Sounds shady, right? That's because it is. Now, you might be thinking, well, I trust my broker, and that's fair. But the question isn't about trust. It's about transparency and your right to the best possible deal. So how do you know if your broker is keeping you in the dark? The short answer is you probably don't. And that's what makes this practice so insidious. In our next section, we'll look at the impact of reserving on your bottom line and why this is a massive red flag for any CFO. Welcome back. Now that we've peeled back the curtain on what reserving is, let's talk about numbers. What's the real financial impact of this practice on your company? You see this graph? This could be your insurance costs over time if you're stuck in a reserving cycle. It's not just about paying more, it's about the opportunity cost. Every dollar spent on inflated insurance premiums is a dollar not spent on growing your company. And let's not forget, as a CFO, you're accountable for these financial decisions. The board isn't going to be too happy if they find out you've been kept in the dark by your broker, are they? But the financial impact goes beyond just premiums. There are hidden costs, like the time and resources spent on a tender process that's rigged from the start. In our next segment, we'll dive into how you can break free from this cycle and take control of your company's insurance needs. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. All right. We've talked about the problem and we've talked about its impact. Now let's talk solutions. How can you as a CFO break free from the reserving cycle and take control? It boils down to three key steps, insurable risk profiling, broker capability review, and industry benchmarking. These are the pillars of what I call the insurance power play. Firstly, insurable risk profiling is your blueprint. It helps you understand your company's unique risk landscape. This is crucial for tailoring an insurance package that's both cost-effective and comprehensive. Next, the broker capability review. This is where you assess whether your broker is really acting in your best interests. Are they an advocate for your company or are they just a middleman for the insurer? Lastly, industry benchmarking. This is your reality check. It helps you compare your insurance package and costs against industry standards. It's your competitive edge. So there you have it. These steps are your ticket to breaking free from the reserving cycle and taking control of your company's insurance needs. Stay tuned for our next segment where we'll discuss how you can implement these steps in your company. You won't want to miss it. We've covered a lot of ground today, but the journey doesn't end here. Knowing is half the battle. The other half is taking action. So what are your next steps? First, if any of this resonated with you, I highly recommend setting up a discovery session with us. We can dive deeper into your specific situation and see how these strategies can be tailored for your company. Second, if you found this information valuable, we have an exclusive webinar that goes even deeper into these issues. It's a must watch for any CFO serious about optimizing their corporate insurance. You can register for the webinar at the link below this video. Don't miss out, it's a game changer. And finally, keep an eye out for more content like this. We're on a mission to empower CFOs to take control of enterprise risk management 
and their corporate insurance. And we've got a lot more to share. So stay informed, stay empowered, and let's change the game together.